Hi guys, so as you can see, today's video is going to be a Halloween costumes try and haul from Pretty Little Thing. And if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe. It means so, so much. And I'm just going to start off with this outfit. So, as you can see, I'm a bunny. And this outfit, when I saw it online, it kind of reminds me a bit of, um, you know, Bridget Jones, when she goes to that Tarts and Vickers party, but then when she gets there, it's not actually a Tarts and Vickers party. They didn't tell her. This costume reminds me of that. And... I love it, it's so nice. Like, it fits me so, so nice around the waist, around the boob area, everything. I love this, it's so, so comfy. And it's such a nice silky material. And it was dead easy to get on and off. Like, it's got a zip here, so you can just pull it up. I'll show you now, like that. And it just zips, and, and it's got poppers in between your legs. So it's dead easy to just pull it on over your head and then pop it in between your legs. The only issue I have with this is that the poppers there's like four of them so it kind of like bunches underneath which kind of looks a bit weird so like you just got to do a bit of adjusting but apart from that it's all right and it does have the security tag here um which i've just tucked at the back so you can't see it as much but that's obviously so that no one can wear them out and then send them back but yeah it's so nice like i think it fits really really nice it's super comfy and i just bob some of my own tights on underneath just to give me a bit more coverage and it's not a thong bump, but it is um, quite cheeky. So yeah, it's very, very nice. It comes with this tail that's attached and it comes with these ears and it also comes with... So this outfit also comes with these two little cuff link type things that go around your wrist, but mine are too small, so they just fall right off. And this also that goes around your neck and this bow that goes around your neck. But I quite like it like this on its own without these. But it's just nice that you get all those little bits. So you get the ears, the tail, the costume part, and then obviously all those little bits. So I just think you get such a good amount for your money. So this costume that I'm wearing is in a size small, and I can't remember off the top of my head how much it exactly was, but I'll leave all the sizing and prices that I'm wearing down below. And yeah, I'm gonna get into the next costume. So if anything looks different, it's because it's now the next day, because my camera battery died, super annoying. But anyway, this is the second outfit, and it looks amazing. I think it looks really cool, but it is a little bit uncomfortable. Like, I feel a bit like I can't move as well as I would like to, but looks wise it looks great so i think if you wanted it for pictures or for a short period of time it is really good um and i got a size small and it's really nice that it's all backless i think that gives a nice touch to it and the material is very strange i've never tried anything on like this before but i just think it gives that like bad devil kind of look which that's what i'm going for with this obviously and yeah i don't know i quite like the length i'm glad that the it, sleeves are long enough i like that the legs long enough yeah apart from the fact that i feel like i can't move as well as i would like to it is pretty cool not gonna lie oh feathers from these horns are flying everywhere okay so this is the third outfit and it is a little bit big so i would suggest sizing down so i'm usually a size eight or a small so i would suggest to go down to a size six or an extra small but apart from that it is really nice and it's dead soft material is great it's super soft it's super like light material and because of the detail on the front you can't see through it so that's great and it's got a really nice low back as well and yeah i really like this i think it's so cute and I think it would look really good with a pair of um, skeleton tights I also saw on the website, and a nice pair of black boots and a leather jacket or something. And yeah, I think this is one of my, one of my things. So this fourth outfit is hands down my favourite one. Even without trying on the next two, this is my fave. It's so, so nice. Like, how gorgeous is this? It fits so lovely, it fits on my waist. I just love it, I'm obsessed. Like, I love this deep V. Like, you can have it deeper if you want. Like, there's two more buttons, so you can have it as low as you want, or higher, because it's got other buttons up here. Feels like pajamas. I love it so, so much. This is my favorite. I've got, it's got good sleeve length, super comfortable, and I've got some little ears to go with it. This is my fave, love this. Cat costume, obsessed. If you're looking for a cat costume, this is a good one from Pretty Little Thing. And like I said before, I'm going to leave my sizes that I'm wearing and the prices down below. And also, this is a size small or an 8 because that's what I get all women. So the second to last item is a purge costume. Now, all these come separately. So this, I think online, was called the angel skirt. And this, obviously, is just a white corset. But it took me and my boyfriend to get me into this. And I still haven't done up every single one. So it is really, really difficult to get on. So that's just a warning. If you can get this on better than me, then... 
you're amazing because I could only manage to do three of them. So one in the middle, one at the top and one at the bottom. But yeah, apart from it being super hard to get on, I do think it does make a really good purge costume. So this mask does light up, I haven't put any batteries in, but you put batteries in, it's got this and it's also got a um, sponge at the top so it's comfortable on your head. And yeah, I think it looks really good together. The skirt is a little bit see-through, so it does come with these little thongs, which I mean... It's not going to cover much is it that's not really me so i've just got a white knickers on underneath but obviously it's still a bit see-through so if you're okay with that then that's all good this is great costume but if you're not then maybe wear some like white biker shorts underneath and i think then you'd be good to go i mean i am very sucked in it's real like bone in and all the tie up detail at the back cinching you in but yeah i mean it makes my Small boobs feel like they're up to my neck. And yeah, I think it is a really cute purge costume. This last and final costume. Now, as you can tell, this is a nurse's costume and it comes with this little hat and this dress, but it is a one size fits all. And I don't really like it when it does that because no, like nobody's just one size. Like, or we all come in different shapes and sizes and this is not gonna fit everybody. So that is kind of annoying, but it is like quite roomy, so it, will fit a variety of different sizes just not all of them and it is a little bit see-through so i would suggest wearing some nude underwear underneath the i have white underwear on right now and probably can see it if i turned around but i am wearing a nude bra and that seems to be okay i do think if you were going to go to the joker as well i think this would be a good costume for the joker because like when heath ledger comes out of the hospital you know the scene where he blows it up he's in a nurse's costume so i think this could be good for that and yeah, I do think it is a really cute costume. The pockets are fake. It has a zip that goes all the way down and it's got a nice red colour. And yeah, this is really cute. Yeah, that's all the costumes I have for you today. And please let me know down in the comments which was your favourite costume. Mine definitely is still the cat costume. Hands down, love the cat costume. That is my absolute fave. Please let me know down in the comments which one was your favourite. And I'll see you next time. Bye.